friends uh, <coughs> we were doing problems on compound angles i'll continue that i was doing 15 sc 01 m i was doing april may 2017 in the previous video i had done section a i had done 8 and 10 problems 8 and number 8 and number 10 now i am taking section b of same paper 23 problem number 23 if if cos alpha is 3 by 5 and cos beta is 5 by 13 find the value of find the value of sin of alpha plus beta this is for 5 marks <coughs> find the value of sin of alpha plus beta you know sin of alpha plus beta is sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta this is the expansion of sin alpha plus beta now i know the value of cos alpha i know the value of cos beta but i don't know the value of sin alpha and sin beta without these two values i can't get the value of sin of alpha plus beta so what i will do take the right angle triangle alpha uh, cos alpha is 3 by 5 adjacent is 3 so opposite uh, hypotenuse is 5 now this will be 4 because 5 square is 25 25 minus 9 is 16 so 16 so sin alpha will be equal to sin alpha will be equal to 4 by 5 <coughs> now again this is beta cos beta is 5 by 13 so this will be 12 13 square is 169 minus 5 square is 25 169 minus 25 is 144 root of 144 is 12 so sin beta will be equal to 12 by 13 so now this sin of alpha plus beta will be equal to sin alpha it is 4 by 5 into cos beta 3 by 5 plus cos alpha is sin alpha cos beta this is this is 5 by 13 5 by 13 plus cos alpha 3 by 5 into sin beta 12 by 13 so this will be 4 into 5 is 20 by 65 Plus thirty six by sixty five. LCM is sixty five. Twenty plus thirty six. That is fifty six by sixty five. This is the answer. It carries five marks. Five marks. Next, same paper, same section. section b problem number 24 24 prove that 1 plus sin 2a sin 2a plus cos 2a divided by 1 plus 
साइन टू ए माइनस कॉस टू ए इज इक्वल टू टेन ऑफ नाइनटी माइनस ए टेक द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड फाइव मार्क्स प्लीज टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वन प्लस साइन टू ए प्लस कॉस टू ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस साइन टू ए माइनस कॉस टू ए दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन प्लस साइन टू ए इज टू साइन ए कॉस ए प्लस कॉस टू ए इज कॉस स्क्वायर ए माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू साइन ए कॉस ए माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस साइन स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर ए माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू साइन ए कॉस ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर ए माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस टू साइन ए कॉस ए कॉस ए माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस साइन स्क्वायर माइनस इनटू माइनस इट बिकम्स प्लस यर प्लस इनटू माइनस दैट बिकम्स माइनस नाउ वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू साइन ए टू साइन ए कॉस ए टू साइन ए कॉस ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए दिस वन एंड दैट माइनस साइन स्क्वायर टू साइन ए कॉस ए प्लस साइन स्क्वायर ए प्लस वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए this one and this cos square a i have clubbed together so this will be 2 sin a cos a plus cos square a 1 minus sin square a is cos square a divided by 2 sin a cos a Plus sin square a plus sin square a. One minus cos square a is one minus cos square a is sin square a. So we get two sin a cos a cos a plus two cos square a cos square a plus cos square a is Two cos square a. Here I get two sin a cos a plus two sin square a. Now, what can be taken out as common factor? Two cos a can be taken out as common factor. Here you will be left with sin a plus cos a divided by Here, two sine a can be taken out as common factor into it will be cos a plus sine a, or it can be written as sine a plus cos a. It doesn't matter. So these two, these two gets cancelled. Sine a plus cos a, sine a plus cos a gets cancelled. So I am left with cos a by sine a, that is cot a. Cot A is also can be written as tan of 90 minus A. 
that is the right hand side. So this carries 5 marks. Next. Same 15 SC01M. Fifteen SC zero one M Section A. Ah, uh, sorry. This is April May. That's no November December. November December two thousand sixteen. Section A. Problem number ten. Prove that sine sixty eight degree plus sine fifty two degree divided by cos sixty eight degree plus cos fifty two degree is equal to square root of three. Now, take the left hand side. Left hand side is sine of sixty-eight degree plus sine of fifty-two degree divided by cos sixty-eight degree plus cos fifty-two degree. Now, <laughs> this can be written as sine of. Sixty degree plus eight degree plus sine of sixty degree minus eight degrees. Sixty eight degree can be written as sixty plus eight degrees. Fifty two can be written as sixty minus. If it is sixty nine, this will be fifty one. If this is sixty seven, this will be fifty three. You can make a number of problems on this, and you can practice them. Cos sixty-eight again. Cos of sixty degree plus eight degrees plus cos of sixty minus eight degrees. Now this will be equal to expand it. Sine sixty cos eight. Sine sixty degree cos eight degree plus cos sixty degree sine eight degree. Plus sine sixty degree cos eight degree minus cos sixty degree sine eight degrees. Sine of a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Sine of a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a cos uh, sine b. Divided by here cos a plus b cos a cos b cos sixty cos eight minus sine a sine b sine sixty degree sine eight degree plus cos a minus b cos a cos b cos sixty cos eight plus Sin a sin b sin sixty sin eight expanded. Now <coughs> this and this cancel because this is plus cos sixty sin eight and that is minus cos sixty sin eight. This is sin sixty cos eight sin sixty cos eight both are plus. So two into sin sixty cos eight cos eight. Divided by here this and this cancel sine sixty sine eight sine sixty sine eight one is minus and the other one is plus these two can be added they will become two into cos sixty degree cos eight degree 
Now this two, this two gets cancelled. Cos eight, cos eight gets cancelled. It is sine sixty by cos sixty. That is nothing but tan sixty, and tan sixty is you know root three. So that is the right answer. So it is proved. Next twenty three. This is for five mark, uh, uh, two, three marks. Next, same paper, section A, eleven, problem number eleven. If sine A is half. Sine A is half. Find the value of sine two A. You know sine two A is two sine A cos A. So, if we want the value of sine two a, we should know the value of sine a and cos a. Sine a is given, but cos a we don't know. Again, draw a rough figure. This is a angle a. This is one. This is two. Sine a means opposite by hypotenuse. So this will be two square will be four one square will be one four minus one is three so this will be root three if that is one that is two this will be root three so cos a will be adjacent by hypotenuse that is root three by two so this sign two a will be equal to two into half into root three by two so these two these two cancels. The answer is root three by two. That's the value of sine two a. This again carries three marks. Then problem number twenty two in same paper section B. Section B. Problem number twenty two for five marks. Section B. Problem number twenty-two. If tan A is equal to half, and tan of A plus B is seven by nine, find the value of tan B. Five marks. We know tan of a plus b is tan a plus tan b divided by one minus tan a tan b. In this, we know the value of this. We know the value of this. We don't know the value of tan b. That is the only one unknown. That can be found out. So this is seven by nine. Substitute this is equal to half one by two plus tan b divided by one minus one by two into tan b. Tan a value is substituted there. So seven by nine. Is equal to LCM is two one plus two tan B. Here also LCM is two two plus tan B. This two this two gets cancelled. So I am left with seven by nine is equal to. One plus two tan B, and here two plus tan B. Cross multiply. 
9 into 1 plus 2 tan B is equal to 7 into 2 plus tan B. So 9 plus 18 tan B is equal to 14 plus 7 tan B. So 18 tan B minus 7 tan B is equal to 14 minus 9. So 18 tan B minus 7 tan B is 9 tan B. 9 tan B sorry 11 tan B. 18 minus 7 is 11 tan B is equal to 14 minus 9 is 5. Therefore tan B will be equal to 5 by 11. This is the answer. It carries 5 marks. <coughs> then in the same paper there is a problem 23 23 show that 1 minus cos 2 theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta minus sin 2 theta is equal to tan theta. You can try this. This is very similar to one problem we did. Which one? April, May 2017. April, May 2017. Problem number 24. Problem 24 in section B for 5 marks. Very similar to that. You can try it yourself, try out that. Uh, you have to solve some problems. Okay. Now, I will take up some more problems from 9SC01M. 9SC01M. The problem remains the same. Whether it is 9th paper or 15th paper, the problems will be same. So, 9SC01M, April, May 2018, Section A. Problem number 9. Find the value of find the value of sine 75 degrees without using table or calculator. Right. Now sine 75 degrees can be written as it's not a well known angle but it can be written as sine of 45 plus 30 degree. 75 can be split into 45 and 30. So 45 plus 30. So sin A cos B. Sin A cos B. Plus cos A sin B. So sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Cos 30. Cos 30 is uh, 1 by 2 cos 30 is no root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 plus cos 45 is 1 by root 2 to sin 30 is 1 by 2 so root 3 by 2 root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2 2 root 2 is the LCM root 3 plus 1. This is the answer. That's the value of cos 70, uh, sorry, sin 75. It carries 2 marks. Then, in section 
सी सेक्शन सी ऑफ दिस पेपर सेम पेपर सेक्शन सी देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन फॉर फाइव मार्क्स इच सेक्शन सी देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन थर्टी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन प्रूव दैट और शो दैट वन प्लस कॉस टू ए डिवाइडेड बाय साइन टू ए इज इक्वल टू कॉट ए टेक द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वन प्लस कॉस टू ए बाय साइन टू ए सो सिंप्लीफाई इट वन प्लस कॉस टू ए इज कॉस स्क्वायर ए माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए डिवाइडेड बाय साइन टू ए इज टू साइन ए कॉस ए नाउ वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए इज कॉस स्क्वायर ए प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर ए डिवाइडेड बाय टू साइन ए कॉस ए सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टू कॉस स्क्वायर ए डिवाइडेड बाय टू साइन ए कॉस ए टू टू गेट्स कैंसल वन कॉस ए वन कॉस ए गेट्स कैंसल लिविंग अस कॉस ए बाय साइन ए व्हिच इज नथिंग बट कॉट ए दैट इज द राइट हैंड साइड दिस इज फॉर फाइव मार्क्स प्रूव दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू दैट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट थर्टी थ्री प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री इन एनी ट्राइंगल इन एनी ट्राइंगल ए बी सी प्रूव दैट इन एनी ट्राइंगल प्रूव दैट टैन ए प्लस टैन बी प्लस टैन सी इज इक्वल टू टैन ए टैन बी टैन सी now we know in any triangle in any triangle abc angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees <coughs> so a plus b will be equal to 180 एटी माइनस सी वन एटी डिग्री माइनस सी टेकिंग टैन ऑन बोथ साइड टैन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू टैन ऑफ वन एटी माइनस सी सो टैन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज टैन ए प्लस टैन बी डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस टैन ए tan b now tan of 180 minus c means it is in second quadrant so in second quadrant tan is positive only sin will be positive tan is negative so it will be minus tan c so tan a plus tan b will be equal to minus tan c into 1 minus tan a tan b now tan a plus tan b will be equal to if we multiply this minus tan c plus minus into minus plus tan a tan b tan c so take this tan c this side it becomes plus tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a tan b tan c 
So we have proved what is to be proved there. We have proved it. It carries five marks. Five marks.